Hi again everybody, I hope you're enjoying Stamptastic today. My second project for you is this adorable little purse um, that I have used just tone on tone stamping this time. This is a really easy way to use your So Very Grateful stamp set um, without having to use a blender pen or a marker or any kind of coloring if, if you don't like to color. So I'm going to show you how to create this pattern on paper. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of Primrose Petals uh, cardstock, excuse me, and this is 7 and 5 eighths by 9 inches. And on the short side, 7 and 5 eighths, I scored it at half an inch, 3 and a fourth, 4 and a half, and 7 and an eighth. And on the long side, you're going to score it at 2 and 3 fourths, and 6 and a fourth. Then you're going to go back and you're going to score between these two lines right here at this is two and a fourth. This will create a tab, okay? Two and a fourth um, up here. And then down here also between this line and this line at two and a fourth. You can do the same thing over here to create a tab, okay? Between these two lines, six and a fourth. Um, I'm sorry, this is the six and a fourth line. So this is at six and three fourths and jump over that and six and three fourths, okay? So once you have it all scored, and I will send it to you scored if you got the kit, this is how you're going to cut it, okay? You're going to cut all of this off, all of this, all of this over here also, okay? Leave that there for a second so you can look at it. All right, then with your scissors, you're going to want to cut here and here so that these are going to fold in, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp all over it with our largest flower stamp. And I'm going to use the exact same ink, Primrose Petal. If you don't have Primrose Petal, another way to achieve this effect is to use a Versamark pad because it's just going to give that um, watermark kind of, of um, appearance. It's not going to be too dark. It's not going to be quite as dark as this, but it's going to be subtle and it's going to look like a tone on tone print. And I'm just going to um, stamp all over the place like that. Okay, if they overlap a little bit, that's all right. No one's going to be able to tell. Now, what I did, um, after you fold in all these tabs, this one here and this one here are going to fold this way. Okay? And one thing to create a kind of dramatic look is to use a Stampin' Sponge and your ink and I'm going to just ink all the edges. Okay, now the reason I'm doing the back of these is because they're going to fold over to the front like that. And then over here I'm going to fold these edges and just really give it, whoops, my little tab came off, give it a good inking on all of the edges. I feel like when you ink the edges of your paper it gives more of a dramatic look. It's not, I don't know, a little crisper, a little more eye-catching. All right, for time's sake, I'm not going to do all of them, okay? But make sure you take some time to do that. Another thing that I did was added, I added stitching lines with a basic black marker. And I went all along where the sewing machine would have sewed had this been a real purse, all along like this. Okay. And again, for time's sake, I'm not going to do all of them, but I did everything on the original. And this too. Since this is front, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go down. And you could also use a white marker or even um, the, a primrose, primrose petal marker would, would achieve the same effect but be a little su more subtle. Now on these tabs, these tabs that will be on the front and the back of your little purse, I'm going to attach them with Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, that way it gives it um, a little dimension like that. Alright, we're ready to put it together, so I need to put sticky strip After you have your sticky strip on the tabs, remove all of the paper from your sticky strip, and we're going to fold these in, these tabs. 
tabs and carefully line the sides up like this. Okay, very carefully. Well, let's see. All right, so now what we're going to do is put on the handles. Okay, also, there we go. Remember, you have stitching around all the sides. You're going to need two pieces of Primrose Petal, a half an inch by seven inches. And I also took time to ink the edges really well on each of my handles, okay? And you're going to put a piece of, or a, a Stampin' Dimensional on each end. And we're going to take it and fold it like that, okay? Decide if you, if you want them in or out. I kind of prefer mine a little bit further out like that. Okay, flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. All right, now we're going to add these little cute decorative tabs and you're going to need two pieces of Primrose Petal one by two. You want to ink the edges again, and you also want to add some faux stitching, okay? So ink all four sides really well with your Stampin' Sponge. And with the dimensionals, again, you're going to do on either side. And because these are cur going to be curved, I'm going to add two dimensionals just for extra strength on here like this. Okay, and I'm going to attach one like that and wrap the other like that. And those are just for decoration, just kind of uh, some fun uh, side accents that you might see on a regular purse. Okay, there we go. Now we want to make this cute little decoration right here, the flower, and what I did is I punched a 2 and 3 8 inch scallop circle and a 1 and 3 4 inch scallop circle. And with my scissors, I'm just going to trim in a little bit on each scallop. You don't want to go too far in because then your cuts are going to, to meet and it's going to cause your little scallops to fall out. But this way, it will look more like a daisy. Alright, so there's that one. Kind of loosen it up. And then do the bigger one. Like that. All the way around, being careful not to go too far in. Whoops, there we go. Okay. Stack them with a dimensional. And in the middle, I'm going to put a one inch Daffodil Delight circle with another dimensional. All right, and we're going to finish off that part of our bag with a Bermuda Bay one, in, one inch eighth, one eighth inch ribbon tied into a bow like that. All right, and to attach it, I'm going to do a dimensional like that. So cute. And trim your ribbon exactly how you want it. The last part, all you need to do is on about a half inch by about two and a half inches, you're going to stamp your sentiment. And I did the, um, the pennant end like this here, and it looks like I left too much room on that side. So I'm going to cut that down a little bit and make a very shallow pennant end there. All right, and then once again, add your dimensional, and there it is. And you can fill your cute little bag with any kind of treat that you want. Over here, I did add some cut up pieces of cardstock that I also put through a crimper to make them kind of like um, the grass, I guess, like the Easter grass. 
All right, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this project and I hope that you can find a place to use it. All right, thanks. See you in a little while. Bye-bye.